Hello everybody and welcome to Game in the Box. Now it's been a long time since we've done Game in the Box, but today's Game in the Box we are going to take a brief look at the Isle of Jura. Okay, so the game is described as take a fishing trip to Jura, a remote and beautiful island, explore, meet the locals and catch delicious fish. So we play a character who goes by the name of Alex, uh, who needs to finish her biology report. So she's looking for species to study. She's taking a fishing trip to Jura, a remote and beautiful island. Catch over 50 species of fish, master three different fishing techniques, find artifacts and complete the island's collection. You can also chat with the island's residents and it says we can explore at your own pace. So you start off the game with this little fishing net and as you can see I was waist deep in water here, getting wet, trying to catch all sorts of things. So after that I had a little bit of an explore around this island. I got lost a few times but I was trying to get me bearings on this, on this island. Now that I personally don't think this island is very big it's easy to find your way around once you've uh, once you got lost a few times which i did and uh, you also stumble well i stumbled across what they call artifacts now personally to me this is just a piece of green glass however wait for it i did struggle to pick it up we will get it However, it's described as green sea glass, and that's one of the artifacts. You go around the island, um, you can find artifacts, and you take them to like some sort of artifact museum. Now, once I got the hang of this little net, I was catching oysters down on the beach. Wait for it, wait for it. Here we go. We get it. Yay, we got ourselves another oyster. And Dabby Dozy. Now when I first loaded this up and I pressed play, I have to admit, I wasn't really that impressed. But after a short amount of time, I began getting addicted to this little game and I went on to play it for hours. I literally did. Um, these are the outtakes of the hours of gameplay that I actually spent on this game. I actually found it, you know, it, it drew me in uh, and I kept on playing it and playing it. So once you've <laughs> caught some um, fish, you can go up to this um, little restaurant area they've got at the top of this cliff and you can sell not your artifacts, but your fish, your eatable items you sell to this little man or is it a lady behind that counter and she gives you or he gives you money so i headed off back down to the beach by this rock pool area and boom i caught oh, look at that i caught a crab <laughs> that's the personal best that was and uh yeah i quite enjoyed Oh, I'm spending my time crabbing down here with this little net. We got another one. They're getting bigger. A starfish. So I actually spent quite a bit of time down here once again, waist deep in seawater fishing for various um, sea creatures that were in this particular area. Look at that, we got ourselves a crab. Anyway, once I caught enough, I was thinking, have I got enough sea creatures here to go up to this um, restaurant area at the top of this cliff to sell because I need $50. I've come out here for the day and I need fifty dollars to buy my first fishing rod so i came to this strange person who looked at me rather bizarrely and i sold what i had caught down on the beach there and i raised more than fifty dollars so on to the next mission 
The next place, I went up to see this man with this hat on who sells fishing tackle. And I brought my first fishing rod. Yay! So finally, I got myself some decent fishing equipment in the game here. Now, we've got to wait for a bite. So you watch the red float, it'll bob up and down and obviously you strike when it goes under the water. There we go, boom, we are in! Biting a fish here. What have we got? Nice one. We got a trout, five pound. Six ounces, a new personal best. Well, it would be because that was my first trout, I believe, that I actually caught. Wait for the bite. Here we go. We got a bite. Boom, there we go. We are in a game. And we get ourselves another trout. That was the personal best as well. I actually spent quite a bit of time on this lake here. This small lake by the tackle shop. What have we got here? They look a little bit like, look at the fish, a bronze bream. You know them Christmas jumpers you get, all them silly socks? The pattern on them sort of looks like that, doesn't it? Anyway, down to the beach I went because I've got to raise, I think it's $150 for the fly fishing rod. So I continued the day down at the sea here. Oh, we caught a mackerel. It looks like it's wearing a sock. They do, don't they? They look like them Christmas socks, the patterns on these fish. I caught loads of fish down here, absolutely loads of fish. In fact, it's quite easy to catch the fish, very easy. There's never a dull moment. We got a haddock. Give him a kiss, chuck him back in. Anyway, over here, there's some steps, and up these steps, there's another person you can give your artifacts to. It's sort of like a little museum on the island where all the artifacts you collect, you hand over to this person here and they showcase them, Luke. There we go, look at the artifacts. We got a fossil, we got a stuffed doll. Red sea glass, green sea glass. Them are the current artifacts that we have. Anyway, I found myself a real good spot here. This is a fishing tip for the game. This is a good spot I found for catching dogfish. And I caught my first dogfish from here. Look at that! My first dogfish. What a whopper. I actually spent quite a bit of time in this location. I found myself not wanting to leave as the music, as the relaxing music began to kick in and the sound of the cascading waterfall there in the background. I didn't want to leave this location and I spent quite a bit of time here catching various species of uh, fish.
Once I caught enough fish, I decided to head off back to the top of this cliff here to sell the fish that I had caught because I wanted to raise $150 and I did it quite easily. I wanted to raise $150 to get my next fishing rod, which is the fly fishing rod. So off I went <laughs> to buy the fly fishing rod. Now, I was a little bit, um, I'm not disappointed in the fly fishing, but I found it the most difficult uh, mini game in the game to actually do. And it took me a while to master it, but once I did, I caught a fish. But I was a little bit disappointed with this fish. I thought it would have been a bit bigger. The mini game sees you trying to keep the green or yellow icon there on that slider together, and it was—it's it, it, quite—it's quite difficult to do. But anyway, I caught a minnow, and that was it. A minnow, really. So. After catching many, many fish and selling them, I went back to the tackle shop to buy some deep sea fishing weights because I wanted to go deep sea fishing. So off I went to the ferry master, I think that's what you call him, he is down here somewhere and I spent the remainder of the day, what was left of it deep sea fishing <laughs> and off I went so once I got out here on this little boat I had a little look around to try and find the best location for fishing now there's some rocks out here you can fish off this big rock here around these rocks but I decided to go back on the boat and try my luck now this game, if it is of interest to you, will be available from the 11th of February 2022. I would describe it as casual play, a casual game, a casual indie game. So if it appeals to you, go and check it out in the Steam Store. It's available for PC. So this is where I spent the remainder of my time in the game, in my first loop at this game, out here. I stayed out here deep sea fishing, where I actually caught a flatfish. Look at that. So that's about it for me. This was my first loop at this game, and uh, I hope to see you all again in another video um, real soon. So I guess it's tatty bye from me. Thanks for watching.